hip joint injections, a lateral approach. Begin by sedating the patient, placing the patient in lateral with the affected limb up. Identify the greater trochanter. Confirm by performing abduction range of motion. Remember to avoid the caudal aspect of the joint due to the proximity of the sciatic nerve. Using an ultrasound, we can identify how deep the joint is going to be and visualize the landmarks. Identify the greater trochanter of the femur and note the joint line is deep to the proximal aspect. Have the assistant hold the limb in a neutral standing angle. Insert the needle at the proximal end of the greater trochanter. Walk the needle down the head of the femur. It may meet the acetabulum and the assistant can apply gentle traction on the limb to allow the needle to fall into the joint. A suction may be heard and joint fluid will be acquired. Inject products slowly as there should be no resistance. If resistance is met, redirect the angle and confirm appropriate placement by reacquiring joint fluid. Ultrasound guidance may be necessary for some patients. Remove the needle and perform range of motion. Apply an ice pack for post-injection comfort.